All right, um, yeah, this is a game called Noctambulant. It, it, like I said, it just came out today. It's like a few dollars and it's done in the same style as like Lone Survivor and Claire and um, what was that game I played last week? I already forgot, overslept. It's kind of like that. What am I gonna see? Look, you got a little sleepwalker by the L there. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, okay, hello. Hi, is this by the same developer? As Overslept? It is, it's from the Overslept developer. So it's a hand-drawn, I actually didn't know that when I chose to play it today. It's a hand-drawn 2D horror game, so let's go. 2D in presentation, I mean you still move around in 3D space. My name is Renee. Hi, Renee. I lived happily with mommy and daddy. I love toys. All kinds of them. Okay. On my birthday, mommy made a doll just for me. I hug it every night to sleep. I love the doll so much. And I love daddy and mommy so much. But something happened. Something really, really bad. The very next day, there was what they call a funeral. Uh-oh. Oh. The only person at the funeral was an old lady. She said she was my grandma and that mommy and daddy have passed away. Grandma said that I had to move in with her and we were on a car to her house right after the funeral. Thanks. I only had the doll with me. I had lost everything else. Mommy and daddy were gone. Well, this is, uh... This is kind of a bummer. Grandma's house was big. I was given new clothes, lots of toys, and dolls in my own doll room. Everything I couldn't have before. And it has been six months since. Don't you worry, little angel. Okay. Are you talking to your doll? Oh, space is to progress. Soon I will find your other wing and you'll be able to fly again. Renee. <coughs> It's 7 p.m. Time for bed. <coughs> Pack up your toys and hurry to your room. Yes, Grandma. Okay, why can't we see Grandma? I don't like that. What does Grandma look like? Every day, Grandma makes me go to bed early and locks the door shut. I don't understand that. <laughs> yeah, me neither. Hey, I see there's a block puzzle here already. Okay. Here we are. Look at this. Look at all these dolls. Not creepy at all. Look at this one. Okay, so we're gonna have to figure out some kind of block puzzle. Or no, actually. No, we're fine. You will always be loved. I guess it's like a flashback or something like that. Aw, mommy and daddy were nice people. And it's that dream again. Okay, you're having a dream. I can't sleep. Now that I think of it, I didn't hear any locking sounds. Thanks. Did grandma not lock the door today? Grandma's been coughing a lot today. Is grandma feeling unwell? A lot is two words, not one. But I'll let it go. I'll let it slide. Actually, I didn't let it slide because I commented on it. So It's okay to be an asshole if you're self-aware, right? You get a pass. I'll check if the door is really locked. Maybe I can go back to the doll room to play. Okay. Hold space under this object to hide. Space to interact with items. M to open map. Escape to open options. Let's take a look at the options actually. Uh, settings. That's it. Good. You know what? That's all. You I'm gonna turn the brightness up like a little bit. Just cause it's, it's funny if it's 69. Renee's color pencils. Her mother used to draw with her back at home. Renee would tell her mom what she wanted to draw and they would do it together. It is now one of the activities she loves to do outside of playing with dolls. Mommy used to draw with me. How nice. Slash heartbreaking. So can I... What? Oh, am I hiding right now? I thought she was gonna actually like crawl under the bed. Okay, so that's how you hide. That's me hiding. Let's take a look at the map. Oh my god, okay. 
Someone's bedroom. Hmm. <laughs> what do you mean someone? Is it grandma? It's just someone's bedroom, excuse? Purple bottle, purple glass bottle, okay. Is the window open? All right, so that's, let's see, room of mirrors. I'm very eager to see this, room of mirrors. Let's check it out. Nice. I don't really understand what that is. Green bottle, a green glass bottle. Okay, so we've got a green bottle and a purple bottle. Weirdly, the green bottle only appears in a mirror and only when we're around it. So that's interesting. Um, so with that in mind, okay, we're going towards the attic right now, I think. Grandma sleeps in the attic. Excuse you? Grandma sleeps in the attic. That's not, that's not raising any red flags for you. Oh yeah, you know, grandma just likes to sleep up there. What could grandma be doing this late at night? Wait, but I thought she was in the attic and you didn't want to disturb. Well then if she's out there, we can just go in the attic. Let's go in the attic. Let's snoop around. What are we gonna find like her shed snake skin or something? Cause she's a reptile. We're gonna walk in on her molting. Well, so this goes to the rest of the house. So that's this right here. So nice. Okay. I'm just trying to get a handle on where everything is. There's something, what is down the floor? Did grandma drop that? Sure. I mean, who else lives here? Grandma's torn note. An offering for the three dolls. One drop of blue, one drop of red, two drop of purple, two drop of yellow. Then give the big shelf in the living room a knock. Okay. Uh, we will look at that later. I'm curious about what that noise from the doll room was. <laughs> Renee, where are your survival instincts? Please. Real quick, do I have... So one thing in Overslept, there was like... It's not safe now, okay. Th there were lives. Becky? Oh, up, 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 up. Oh, no, 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 no way. Oh, fuck this. Okay, am I hiding? Oh my God, this is how you hide. Okay, so this is very similar to their other game, Overslept. I do like the monster a lot more than the ones in Overslept, though. Very cool. Very nice. Um, okay, so we've been in the playroom. Now that the monster's gone, I kind of want to go in here and see if we can, like, grab anything. Matcha, a wooden toy resembling a lovebird with what looks like a cut on one of its cheeks makes made it unique. But the question is, was the scar given or received? Oh. Angel doll. This doll was a gift from Renee's mother. Both wings had fallen off and one of them was lost way back before her parents were alive. I bet you we're gonna have to find the wings. Renee doll. A custom made doll that looks like Renee. Okay. By the way, the dolls all have their eyes wide open and I don't think they were like that before. Oh, okay. Everything's normal here. Everything's normal. Don't even worry about it. Okay, let's go to... Like, can I turn on the light or... Living room. Okay, right. A red glass bottle. Okay, I'm trying to keep track of where all the bottles are because I know that we're gonna need drops or whatever. So here's the bathroom. We'll look around for stuff in here. I guess you can hide underneath the dolls and they protect you. How do I collect drops of different colors? I'm guessing I have to find like a cup or something. Wow, y'all are really into dolls here. Who made this like gourmet dinner? There's like two entire roast turkeys and no one has eaten it. 
there's also like seven, eight glasses of red wine <laughs> and an entire smorgasbord of vegetables and fruit. Two salads, no one's eat. When was this prepared? Do you have a personal chef? Did, gra did grandma make that? No way. Oh, here's a cup. Well, before we go scouting and getting uh, different drops and stuff. Um, okay, sure. Storeroom. Uh-oh. Okay, wait. How do I access my inventory? One drop of blue, one drop of red, two drop of purple, two drop of yellow. Have I seen- have I seen a yellow one? Oh. Oh no, I hit return to lobby! Because usually at the top it says return to game. Or continue. But I mean, you just- you just hit escape again to get out of it. But just usually they have two different options. Okay, we gotta go to the kitchen to get a cup. And then, you know, aside from my commentary, like, well, they got two roast turkeys. Then we're pretty much, pretty much caught up. Here we go. Here we go. Give me. <laughs> okay. Now, what is it? One drop of blue, one drop of red, two drop of purple, one drop of yellow. I assume that that's blue. Do I have to get it in the order of the recipe? That's yellow. I assume I can get it in any order, but maybe I'm wrong. One drop of red, two drop of purple, got it. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to put some mysterious liquids in my cup. Yeah, hi. See ya. The purple bottle was in someone's bedroom up here. So the purple bottle's here. I think the red bottle was over here. Back in the dining room. I heard Becky walking around. What? Look, my cup broke! That was glowing blue, so I... I pressed it. Oh, those are the three dolls you sacrificed to. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. An offering for three. Okay. Uh, let's see. Two drops of purple, right? No way. Oh, thank God. I'm hiding. I'm hiding so well here. Mm. Becky's kind of stupid. Okay, let's go into the living room. We gotta get that one drop of red. Am I right, gamers? Here we go. How, how do you even get it from that high? Okay. So I got all of them. An offering for three dolls. Then give the big shelf in the living room a knock. Wait, but the, gla the glass shattered. Maybe it has to be in order? Kind of annoys me if that's what you have to do, if you have to do in order. Um, yeah, it's not giving me the option to give the shelf a knock. It says in the living room, one drop of blue. I got it. Okay, now I do two drop of purple. Okay, two drops of purple, right? Oh my God. Thank you for at least picking up the pace a little bit. Just going straight to yellow right now. Cause it wants me to take two drops of yellow. How would, that's impossible. That's impossible that you did that. She teleports. It says an offering for the three dolls, right? And there's three dolls in the dining room. I'm afraid that when you go over to the three dolls, that's just a place to reset your glass. And even though it says an offering for the three dolls, you just have to make your potion and then go straight to the big shelf. 
So once I make it, I'm going to go straight to the big shelf in the living room and give it a knock. And then if that doesn't work, then I'll go to the three dolls. Oh my God. No way, Becky. Are you seriously going to camp? No, she didn't see me, but. Oh my God. She's just camping this. Hello. There we go. There we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. Now, hopefully. Don't scare me like that. Now, hopefully she'll go. <laughs> this is all I need to do. I just need to get behind you. Two drops of yellow. That's it. Okay. Now I'm going to go to the living room. Oh my god. Dude, I was like, I was pressing up on the door and I was like, why isn't it opening? Did she go in there? I hope she did. What? Why are you coming back this way? You fucking weirdo. This is the only bad thing about games that are designed this way and structured around this kind of navigation is that if the killer gets you in a dead end, and there's no, there's no way to like hide in the hallway and let them pass. You just have to like wait and hope that she fucks off somewhere. Here we are. Okay, I'm not gonna do it here yet though. I'm afraid that that's just gonna reset me. The shelf, the shelf in the living room. So, but okay, the big shelf in the living room, Anak. Okay, that's not happening. But I do want to try one more thing because I'm paranoid, and that's the one in here. This. Mommy used to read these to me before bedtime. Oh, a little flashback here. Choose a book to read. Book of the three. Three curious girls, Lala, Lulu, and Lily, wow, very creative, decided to leave their homes to go up a mysterious pink mountain. The path up the mountain was fun. The three good friends, side by side, chattered, chattered merrily through the twisting and turning of the road. Right before sunset, a thick fog enveloped the pathway, the trees in the forest, and they could hardly see anything. As they couldn't see less and less, the three girls got more and more afraid. Let's hold hands, piped up Lulu, who was right in the middle. Reaching out her left arm, Lulu pull, uh, pulled Lily close to her. Feeling more reassured, Lulu then reached out her right arm to pull Lala, but she couldn't find Lala's hands, no matter how much she felt about in the fog. Lulu spun to look to her right, and her jaw dropped. A pale woman with long hair, black eyes, and an abnormally wide smile stared right at her. Lily, on the other hand, was looking straight ahead of her at the terrifying sight of her friend Lala hanging from the trees, together with many others. The bad three girls who decided to leave their homes to explore the mysterious mountain got punished dearly. Okay, so interestingly, so th this actually isn't the big shelf. So Lala, Lulu, Lily. Lulu's in the middle. She spun to look to her right, and then Lily was looking straight. So, and Lala was dead. Okay, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to get out of her. Book of Colored Spirits. Once upon a time, there lived a sorcerer. He practiced a dark and uncommon magic, and all the people in the village avoided him. He was lonely and sad, and moved to live alone by a hillside. Is this... Is this the story of Stardew Valley? Whoa, dude. It's Pelican Town. The sorcerer used his powers to create five colored spirits. The blue, the yellow, the red, the purple, and the green. They filled his dull and lonely life with color, and he was more joyful again. But there was a group of royalty in the country. They were no smarter than anyone, but held their noses high and snobbish. Hmm. They feared the power of dark magic, that it would take away their positions. And so they sent many guards to patrol the villages. Anybody caught with the use of dark magic were to be locked up immediately. Upon hearing the news, the sorcerer was shocked. But most of all, he worried for the colored spirits he had grown close with. In a panic state, he created five 
colored bottles. Oh no. I have to do it again. And hurriedly placed them into different bottles. I was wondering why the drops were different colors than the bottles, but I thought it was like the color that it was making or something. The blue spirit into the red bottle. The yellow spirit into the green bottle. Oh my God. The red spirit into the yellow bottle. Purple into blue, green into purple. Oh, why? <laughs> why? Why, 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 why? So it's red, yellow, red, yellow, blue, green. 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 Rib, ribgy, ribga. Imagine if I hadn't read this book. I would be like, I, okay, well, I get, well, we gotta reset. Well, we gotta reset now. Oh, okay, here you go. Here's your crappy offering. Oh my God. Okay, Ribga. One drop of red. Ribga. And the red is... Oh, this way, okay. See, so that's blue. That's why the color is... Oh. Okay, and then one drop of yellow. Right. Now we gotta do blue. Right. And that's purple. And then the last one, we gotta do two drops of the green. Oh, dude, so mean. Literally so mean. I'm never gonna get over that. I'm never gonna forget that moment. This is why I mean with these indie horror games, okay? You just, you never know what the, the dev is gonna do for, for a puzzle. You literally, it, they could do anything they wanted. Just hiding here for a second. Yeah, okay, so we've got all the drops. Okay. I don't know. I don't know where she is. We're good. I'm gonna go to the living room. No. Okay, I think we take it to the, I think we take it to the dolls. It just makes sense. There we go. Oh no. Wait, how am I supposed to know? Okay, Lulu's in the middle. Okay, okay, we've got to rotate them. I got to reread it. I got to reread it. Okay, so Lala, Lulu, and Lily. So uh, Lulu is in the middle. And Lulu's looking to her, to her right, not our right, her right. So Lulu will be looking to the left. Lily is looking straight ahead. So what the hell is Lala doing? It doesn't say that, does it? Lulu then reached out her right arm to pull Lala. So Lala's to the left. Lala's the one to the left. And Lulu turns to look at Lala. And a pale woman with long hair, black eyes, and a normally wide smile stared right at her. So they're looking at each other. And Lily's looking straight ahead. Okay, I think I got it. Oh, you can you I like how I'm hiding in the brightest part of the room. Yeah, hi. Thanks. Go find something to do. Go harass grandma. How is grandma immune to all this? Does Becky also have the same respect for the attic? This is Lulu. This is Lala. This is Lily. Lulu's staring to her right. 
at Lala. Lala looking right back at her. Lily staring straight ahead. How is that not right? Oh yeah, I try knocking now. Okay, good, good point. I just thought there would be some indicator of like, you got it. <laughs> what can I say? I'm confident. I was just like, ugh, it's either this or I go run off somewhere and I don't want to do it. There we go, I did it. Why is there a secret passage in the house? I don't know. I That's the question that you have right now? Uh, okay. All right, all right. What is it? Basement. Basement map. I'm not going to acquire this. This is just... Okay. So so we're here right now. And we want to get down to the to basement number six. Okay. So if we go that way, we go down. Okay. I'm just going to wing it. Um... Where does this go? Oh, nice. Okay, bye. I will come back for that. Hand mirror. A pretty looking hand mirror that was broken by Renee. Her grandmother took it away thereafter. I don't like mirrors. Oh, uh, what? I don't know what is going on. Okay, am I in five right now? Stop that, stop that. How do I get this one to move? What the fuck? So that's that's how I this is the one I'm in five right now. I need to go to six. So I need to get this to open. Uh okay. That does nothing. Let's close that one. Okay. Hello. Okay, so I solved it. So we're in this we're in the sixth basement now. Um <laughs> uh, <laughs> Oh that's it. Oh that's it. Am I just supposed to There's gotta be more to it than this. Is this all I do? Oh, okay, you just put it in. I was sitting there like, don't make me do some kind of fucking cipher where I have to figure out some kind of weird equation like, oh, this symbol is uh, two, and this symbol is plus, and this symbol is one, and this symbol is minus. The Book of the Awakening. Chapter 2. The possessed, often residing in objects that belong to the family, will be cursed to only walk at night, guarding the residence of its own family. They are referred to as noctambulant spirits. If an outsider is seen in possession of anything that belongs to the family, or have invaded into the premises, it will do whatever means to remove them. So, Becky is a noctambulant spirit, right? A few case studies have been collected in relation to noctambulant spirits. A huge chunk of the section are descriptions of the case studies. Oh, we don't want to read that. Boring. Boring. This book. Why is it here? There's something else in the box. Paper charm. A diamond-shaped charm. It is filled with mysterious, unreadable words scribbled in a specific pattern. 
But I don't think Grandma's an outsider because these are like Becky is her doll, right? Like she she was like, oh, you like dolls? Well, you can play with mine. I've got a ton of them. And maybe she's like assuming that like since Renee's family, it'll be okay. But she doesn't know that Renee's adopted. I don't I don't know why she wouldn't know that. This charm in the book. I've seen them before. The book was in mommy's study room and the charm was illustrated in the book too. Oh, here's the menacing legs. I didn't want to remember that again. From what is written in the book, Becky is possessed by something to protect its family. Right. And that they go after outsiders who are not part of the family. She's piecing it together. This is only the second part. Where's the first part? Perhaps grandma knows about it. After all, it's all hidden here in this secret basement. Maybe I can find more answers in grandma's room. Oh, here it goes. Don't make me... Nice try. Now, uh, yeah, let's go to the attic. Okay, what's with the fog? A strong smell of ointment. It's a smell grandma always has on her. I had to be quiet so as not to wake her. All right, I guess I won't run. Don't run. Chapter one, here we go. Creation of a voodoo doll, otherwise known as the act of voodoo, is curse one performs to disrupt the natural flow of life. A ritual sought after by many, voodoo is believed to have the power to bring one back from the dead. Voodoo requires a body for the spirit to return to and a human medium to act as a pathway for the dead spirit to return back to the human realm. The human medium is to also create an object of personal attachment to direct the spirit's memory to it. From a few case studies, it is also noted that the ones brought back to life are never truly the same again, of course. The act of voodoo is considered to be sacrilegious, even in the world of dark arts. The medium acting as the pathway for the dead to pass through the realms gives up their own pathway out of the human realm after death. Ooh. As a result, the medium will be trapped forever, residing in an earthly object bound to serve the family they belong to. So is Becky just a... Well, no. I was wondering if Becky's a giant voodoo doll. So after bringing one back in a different form, the user gets cursed to become a noctamulant spirit after they die. I'm trying to figure out if Renee's the voodoo doll. Because... <laughs> She is kind of doll-like, and she loves dolls, right? Or... I don't know. I'm sure it will, I'm sure it'll get explained. Oh, shh. Look, she's sleeping. Grandma's Diary. Here we go. February 4th, 2004. Carrie is still extremely distraught from the incident. It has been a whole year, and even I cannot say I am not still very much affected by the loss of my very own granddaughter. Dun 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 dun! Thanks. Nedrick looks very stressed whenever I go over, so I am trying to give them space. May 18th, 2004. Carrie has been writing once in a while to me, but this particular letter today was strange. She seemed hopeful and happy. I hope this will finally be heading in the right direction. I hope my sweet daughter will finally be back to how she was before. June 6, 2004. There has been no letter ever since. I am still writing to them, but they have not gotten back to me. Maybe after sending that letter, they went on a trip. It's all for the better. April 4th, 2005. Everything happened way too fast. The news of the passing of my daughter and my son-in-law arrived just before dawn. That was not the only thing that I was informed of. I was told to fetch their child, my granddaughter. Wait. As I am the only next of kin left. How? I am still unable to come to terms with what is happening. Okay, wait. I guess the parents used a voodoo doll to bring her back to life. However, I must attend the funeral and I must find out what has been going on. I have fetched my granddaughter. It was my little Renee indeed, but at the same time, it did not seem to be her. She did not recognize me and I can only play along until I find out everything about this. My dear Carrie, what on earth happened? I cannot believe my daughter is gone just like this. 
Last night, something very, very unusual happened. I had gifted Renee a lot of dolls, seeing how much she liked them. But when I went out for a glass of water, one of the bigger dolls was walking about. However, it did not do anything to me. Regardless, this is too strange. I have to keep Renee to her bedroom at night until I find out about everything. The police arrived today. They are here to return to me the remaining properties they had taken from Carrie and Nedrick's household for investigation. I'm sorry. What kind of a name is Nedrick? Also, I've never seen Carrie spelled that way. One of them was an old red book with parts of it torn out. After reading it tonight, I found out that the doll was Carrie, my beloved daughter. She is still here. I have also found out why my granddaughter is alive now. Carrie did something unforgivable. Oh, how much pain she must be going through to resort to this. I still have to keep Renee in her room until I find the remaining sections of the book. All right, I got him. I got him. I'll have to look through the book again. So it is true that Becky is mommy. Okay. And grandma knew all along. Is that why she kept Becky around? But why does she still have me here? Even though she knows that I'm not her real granddaughter. Even though I'm an outsider. So she's not adopted. She's just, she came back to life. Okay. <coughs> I'm not supposed to be out of my room this late. I need to go back to my room before grandma wakes up. You're worried about getting in trouble right now? Can we talk about that, that mist over there? Is it like a, just a giant humidifier or what? Something is coming. I need to hide. All right. Grandma! Renee, what are you doing under the bed? <laughs> I, I, you <coughs> haven't left your room, have you? N no, I was here the whole time. I, I was just feeling afraid. There's nothing to be afraid of, my sweet little girl. Is that really true, Grandma? Of course, you had, shouldn't have anything to worry about. <coughs> Did you really not leave your room, Renee? I, I did not. All right, then. <coughs> Grandma is feeling a little under the weather, so I must be muddle-headed. I'll be heading back to bed. You should go back to sleep, too. Wait, Grandma. What is it, Renee? Do you think I am loved? You never want to hear the hesitation here. <laughs> of course, my sweet little girl. Why are you asking such silly questions? All right. Good night, Grandma. Good night. Mommy chased me because I'm an outsider. And Grandma came here so quickly. She must have not been chased. Because they are family. And I'm not. Grandma lied. Okay, well... <sighs> Is this a choice? I guess this is like an ending choice. She's hiding something. This feels like the thing to pick if you want the most gameplay. Not telling me about mommy, keeping everything in the secret basement. She must be playing something. Otherwise she wouldn't lie like that. Does grandma not want me to? I just wanted a family and to be loved. I want to be with my family. Man, she's like Evelyn from RE7. I have to do something. Mommy is doing all this because she wants to protect her family what can i do to make her not do that i have to get to my playroom first okay here we go hatching the dastardly plan i have to get to my playroom it's her version of a war room i'm being chased because this belongs to the family so i need to get rid of this doll maybe i can burn it oh really burn it Oh, there's a fireplace, right? Is that where I do it? Oh, but that's not, that's not fair. Look, fireplace. Now I need to soak the charm in water. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know like where she read that she has to soak it in water. The 
The charm is sinking to the bottom. The water is turning red and looks like blood. Now that the water is corrupted, I just need a cup to collect it. Where are you getting all this information about corrupting the water? This guy felt like you were hiding some stuff from me, Renee. Like how you know to do the do these ridiculous rituals. Oh my god. Don't I'm don't come in right now. I'm doing a ritual. I'm corrupting water right now. Mom, I'm corrupting some water right now. Now to grandma's room. I'm sorry, what? And all this will go away. Now, wait, am I trying to feed grandma the corrupted water? Huh? I don't know, I'm not really keeping up. Are you gonna kill grandma? Just because I selected she's hiding something? I didn't know this would result in killing grandma, poisoning grandma with corrupted water. Okay, okay, you made your point. Maybe it'll give me a, a choice at the end of like, do you kill grandma or not? And I'll be like, no. Uh, okay, what were we doing? Like pouring the corrupted water on her or what? What are we doing? Are you just putting in like her glass of water? Cause she has like a cough and you know she's gonna drink it. Look, look, her face is all shady now. Evil. Evil, she's so evil. Thud. I have succeeded. Grandma's dead now. What? Now nobody can harm me. <laughs> I don't wanna do this. Nobody can stop me from what I deserve. Renee, you're evil. On that day, I found out about something I should never have. What, power? Knowledge? Mother's study room, filled with notes and studies on how to get back her daughter. Daddy went out of room. The two of them are shouting again in the living room. And then they go away, back to their room. The usual thing. Except this time I knew why. They got strangely quiet after a while. I don't usually peek because I was scared, but that time... I knew instantly what to do. The book had all the information. Ones that will take everything from me. I was so scared that would happen. I had to do what had to be done. Oh, brother. And now, I have done it. I have finally gotten what I wanted. Yeah, and now you're bragging about it and being insufferable. Mommy, Daddy, let's always be together. We will always be family. Yeah, yeah, I guess she killed her parents too. That's what I got out of it. Nice little villain monologue there at the end. Oof, okay. Damn. Okay, for what it's worth, I liked that a lot more than Overslept. Um, there's still There's still some obnoxious things in it. Like that whole bottle, colored bottle puzzle was awful. Let's see, how many endings are there? So there's three different endings. I got the bad one. And this is the these endings are probably a direct result of which dialogue option you choose. All right, well, that was Noctambulant. Pretty cool, pretty cool game. Like I said, just came out today, August 22nd. So I'm, I'm, I'm on it for once. Hot off the presses, hell yeah.